I'm not a vampire, not an alien, I'm not the fucking mummy, I'm a goblin. Greetings and welcome, I'm the Twisted Goblin. Today, I'm talking about uh, in a violent nature. I think this movie was pretty good. I'm a, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna uh, uh, give this movie a try. And just like I did my daughter, I'm writing something, just to keep my mind focused, you know. It seems to work. For some reason, it works. Just drawing some stupid stuff on a uh, paper. But, so I've been watching this movie and people seem to be bored with it. And by people, I mean like two reviewers that I've watched. But it's like, they're literally like, oh, oh, it's fuck. But I think this is interesting. It's an interesting movie. Maybe it's because I find, I find this more fascinating and more interesting than Sting. I felt like Sting was a boring movie because you actually had to get in attached with the characters around it and they introduce you so much characters but they're freaking boring and plain and uh, I didn't like it but in this movie I get what they are going for they're going for the killer's point of view you always see Jason because it's very inspired by Jason for he's like somebody that's uh, got bullied then got dead and because he died uh, he, uh, he came back from the river and something like that happened to D Johnny uh, this killer and yeah he has uh, and for his iconic thing he has uh, like this fireman uh, mask on from the early days like very uh, old um, uh, fire mask on as it's in. and I like the look of the killer He's very Jason Voorhees as his normal uh, look. So you go, you see it from the killer's point of view. He, he his locket gets stolen. Something that his mother is from his mother. His father gave it to him. Uh, he is like, okay, I want uh, stay. Uh, this you cannot be stolen. They steal that, so he comes back alive. He tries to get his locker back. He tries to get this back, and this is the whole, pretty much the the thing. And that he tries to find uh, but you see this walking he's literally like walking you see him day night I love this part some people are gonna say it drags on but I get what they're going with this I feel like yeah because Jason Voorhees you always see them when they cut so like they cut here somehow it's few hours later or you don't even see this fire he is right after you he's there he is behind you, you're talking, you're yelling about it. You get these cutscenes that are like, how the fuck he, he got here so fast? How the fuck did he, they just left. And with this movie, you see this happening. You see the killer uh, just moving up on his, to, on his feet. You see day and night cycles go happening. You see him going somewhere, killing this person, killing that person. You see them even, and when they, uh, this group uh, of uh, kids, teenagers are there, they're gonna die. And you see them explaining, uh, explaining the story of him and how. The, there was this reviewer that says like, "Oh, nobody's gonna talk like that." Uh, I'm like, really? Have you seen the internet? Have you seen people? Because I'm very sure people. Just, Maybe it's because you got a review channel and you are not going out as much as you did. But I can actually see people actually talking like that, being assholes to each other, being uh, uh, friendly, trying to. Uh, I've seen this enough. I hear enough stories that uh, I'm I'm very believe. This is very believable uh, that this would happen. Uh, maybe it's just me, uh, but I feel like this would actually happen. Those four or five people. Uh, so they're talking about the story, mostly the backstory about Johnny, that he was a kid, a kid, a kid that loves cars, and uh, and to you know his father was uh, apparently something to blame, and they blame Johnny for it as well because it's a son. So they bring assholes against Johnny. Eventually, they want to take Johnny a lesson. Johnny falls off of the thing after being scared by a mask uh, of a, a fireman. He falls to his death. And after a few uh, ten years later uh, or so, he comes back, kills kills the the ones responsible for. 
Literally like everybody responsible for dies in a mill. This mill is just getting resurrected. While uh, Johnny's resurrected as well. So yeah, I, I like what they're going for it. Uh, he they, he kills them one for one, but you see them walking on the water. He goes on the water. You see this from point of view of Johnny, but it's also a nature. You also see the peaceful nature that is... I like it because it's always intense. With every horror movie, slasher, you see the intensity of every freaking scene. You see the intensity of this killer, you then they run, you see them hyping it up. But this feels like a very nature walk uh, going on with a killer in it. You see, everybody, what I like about it is how much of the nature you see. You see the beautiful woods, you see that, uh, you see how peaceful the woods can be, even though there is a fucking killer out here. But you see it from the point of view of the killer. So you have this peaceful going on. After the kill, he does something with the kill. He does, he kind of throws it up, then walks out, uh, walks to the next uh, spot. With the, with uh, with the survivors, you see them intensity because it's intense for, it's very intense for a survivor because the survivor is like so intense, so shocked by. Why the killer is never worried about that because he kills. He's literally like so much kill. Yeah, sure, there are different kinds of killers. But there is like this the difference between the intensity. I like it because you see, I feel like this is how the killer is feeling. He's feeling peaceful. He's uh, want his uh, uh, thing to back. He does this. Oh, he does this literally on walk. He's not running after the kill because he feels in peace about it. He's. I can see where they're going with this movie. I see what I don't want them all movies starting to become this. I don't want another movie to, to be like this, but I for a one-off movie, I like it. I like what they did with it, having this nature walk with a killer, having uh, this killer actually kill people, and yes, it's gruesome ways that kill, but it's not that gruesome. Saw has done way worse. It's I I also saw this on a promotion or a, 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 something like that. That there's like, oh yes, the killer, he had so horrible kills and some people uh, uh, were really sick after watching this. I'm like, why you have to promote it like that? Because it wasn't. It was actually not that freaking horrifying. It were a few kills. It was more a nature walk than a freaking killer. Uh, a, 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 a horrifying killer uh, spree. But uh, that's what I also liked about it. It's more nature walk. You see him in nature. You see him from a point of view. You see it's him walking and walking. You see it from um, above view sometimes. Him uh, on a knife. You see it at view. And then he goes there. Tries to uh, finish that. You see them all intense. Running from the killer. You see them. Uh, but you, you are from the point of view of the killer. And you feel like he's... Peaceful. He's doing this one at a time. He's do, uh, going on it. He even gets uh, distracted by a, a little car, and and they're trying to find out. They're very panicked. You know, the survivors are very panicked, trying to survive this, trying to get uh, get to safety, trying to run away from the killer, trying to find a way to kill it. To they go even to their uncle. It's like, how could, stupid can you be to do to do this stuff? How can you? While well, the killer is, you know, doing this or uh, to uh, on his feet, kill a uh, kill son. Then goes to the uncle himself. He's like, remember me? He does remember him. Hey, hey he's a, uh, as a child. Like I remember you. I done you into the ground uh, uh, ten years ago. Now I'm gonna kill you again. And this time you're gonna stay there. And then it's like shoots him, he falls, of course comes back. But you have this like beautiful way. I think it's a very, it's a very underrated movie, if you ask me. It's very underrated, uh, underrated movie. The way they did it, it's an, it's a brand new take to a horror genre. I feel like it's a good way to uh, trying to make it. Uh, they he's. He survived. He comes back. He ca kills the uh, 
does it slowly. That's that's the part that maybe say like, okay, where you have this large machine what kills his arm, then his head, and I'm like, why are you doing that? Why does it have to be this slow? And why does this machine that uh, have that you do his head all right or is in pieces? And we see that like every time like when the machine does it that you do see that piece but no he does two pieces his arms and his head his head all right maybe that's his little thing but his hands i'm very confused about why he got it's one arm but not his other that's the only piece i'm like why is this in this for the rest i'm like i get why everything is in it I get how he, how he gets his mask, why he gets his mask, he gets to the mask, he uses one of the first victims, his body, to get to his mask, and uh, like every, every fucking killer needs a mask. An iconic mask. Anyway, so after that he kills the, he goes, there are still two survivors. So he goes after the survivors, and uh, uh, eventually he walks, Somebody screaming out his name, trying to get. It's so like you also see this from his point of view. It's like he's running. Somehow the the two guys, most of the time they're like, you see why how they get it, but in this case it's like they just yell out, and he hears it, and I'm like, okay, this makes sense because he hears it. It's also the woods. It's very uh, you can be loud, and then there's not much on. It. So and he we already see that he gets distracted by by. Uh, Voices that he hears by cards, he hears. He looks at it. He, he goes to it, and he goes to the the two. Uh, now pe they yell. Now there's silence, and the killer is around. The killer stands there, hears them whispering, of course, because they're like. And I always like because sometimes in horror movies they don't even whisper. They don't even try to whisper. And I'm like, how does the killer that not hear? But in this case. You're from the point of view of the killer, so he hears the whispers. He see, he hears the whisp, um, whispering. He hears what they're gonna do, even though they think they're stupid. It's like, no, oh, he's not. He's not hearing us. I'm gonna distract them. You fucking uh, hell, the, bury this. We have a plan. So, so he is like, takes. Uh, he knows he's behind him now. So like, I'm over here. Takes him four seconds. He grips his axe very tightly. The killer and turns around, killing him. And then uh, keeps her, like, m pretty much like, hey, you thought you thought you could kill me? You thought you were on my territory and kill it? You thought you could steal from me? You thought you? It's like he keeps on yelling while the other girl is frozen. Like literally froze up. Uh, sees this guy, and I get this also because there are uh, on review that I saw. I was like, why does she not? Uh, why just uh, freeze and not freaking run? She should get it because you know she's seeing something very horrible. What you definitely on this point see that's fake. But either way, it's like she's this a horrible thing is happening in front of her eyes. She froze up. It's always that flight or freeze respawn. And she's freezing up right now, and get a snap. She has nobody to snap her out of this, so she ke keeps on standing there while the killer is. Eventually, she gets the power in herself again to move. Now she's slowly moving, getting the, uh, hoping that the necklace, just standing the necklace there, would help. And then she runs the hell out of there, keeps on. But this is a big wood, so now you see it from the point of view of the survivor. The last to uh, survive, the final girl. You see her running and running and running and running and running. And then she gets tired, but she also keeps on seeing that. I love that because it's always like, you always see uh, but the final girl. Somehow she runs, somehow she gets to civilization. Somehow, somehow she able to get to, you never know how long hours it was between it. One hour, half hour. 10 minutes and seconds, you never know. They just run and you never know if they're gonna... In this one, you know she's uh, how long it takes. It feels like it takes a long time. She gets there, she, eventually in the morning, she somehow has felt and, uh, and has a an tree stuck up her uh, leg. She tries to get it out. She's now wounded. She tries to keep on f moving because she, she was scared. So she run and run till she fell. The killer, Still there, maybe. 
Maybe Killer even given up because he has the chain again, uh, the necklace again. Could be like, okay, if nobody fucking uh, fucked me my necklace, I'm gonna leave them low. Sure, there was some uh, guy that said, yeah, if you, the necklace, it's now two legs, he's gonna kill you. Maybe he isn't. Maybe giving the necklace back does ha uh, helped. But she kept on running till finally she found a car. In the middle of nowhere, but she finds somebody that uh, did it. Uh, got, uh, she got to the road, the road got a girl, this girl helps her, she's now in a car riding a long freaking time. Now we're following this her, not here. we get uh, this story with this woman about a bear, a bear in the woods that uh, that almost kill, uh, killed her, her Bobby. Uh, and Bobby almost died, but uh, somehow escaped by drowning. And the bear left her her alone. The bear's still out there. Maybe has this disease that just want to kill. Maybe this is also influenced in the nature, violent nature thing. But I felt like this was the part. I'm like, okay, now we can end. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about something that that doesn't matter anymore. But whatever. It's like this was the ending of the movie. We well, actually, you pan uh, to the killer again, and the necklace is gone. But uh, and so is the killer. But that's pretty much it for this movie. I liked it. I think it's better than Sting. And yes, I like Spider movies, but Sting felt the characters were not so intriguing, and I felt like this day. And it's also like it's one of those killer movies. It's one of those monster movies. It's one of those thing. It's always the freaking same. But this. This was a fresh take to it. I feel like this was a very fresh take to the horror genre. And yes, it's uh, if you're not into this kind of movies, it's gonna be boring because it's also very much a nature walk. You're walking through nature a lot. You're walking through the. Uh, uh, the but I like this point of view. I always wanted to see a movie where what would happen if you, if they stop cutting down Jason's uh, his teleportation that he's somehow in front of you somehow he got a because there is this point of view of the killer Johnny that he does the car makes it to people go there he goes all around the house and then comes back ki trying to kill her and I'm like all oh, right now we know what the killer would do how that happened how the fuck he somehow got in the house while that was happening, we see the stuff happening. We see him walking around. We see how he walks, how he got there. Instead of the teleportation, that how somehow he got in front of it. Somehow he's under the bed. Somehow he is in the woods and on that place when he was there. It's like somehow he's, he did this. Like you're always wondering that. And I felt like my wonders were gone because of this movie. Because of this movie. That I really, uh, I liked. The, I don't want every movie to be like this. I like, uh, I, I like both, but I feel like this take on it was fun for a one-off movie. I really liked it as a one-off movie. I really think this movie is great for what it is, how they did it. I like how they did it. I like how how they m made it uh, as a one-off movie. I think it's good. It's one of those movies that I want, don't want a sequel of it, don't want anything else of it. I like it how it is. I think it's better than Sting. I, I don't think it's better than the... Uh, than the, What was the game that I watched last time? Uh, come on, give me, give me a hint. Uh, uh, Founder's Day, yeah, that was a movie. Like, I think Founder's Day is a little bit better, but also not, because that's a, like a very slasher movie. And very much more predictable, but it has enough interest that I'm like, eh, maybe a little bit more. But this is very unique. It's one of a kind, and I like to be, stay it as as one of a kind. I liked that we had this point of view. I'm very intrigued by it, and I'm glad we had it. I don't need more. I'm just glad this movie exists. I'm glad this movie exists. I'm glad I watched it. Uh, I feel like it was a good take on it. It's nothing too gory. Sure, there is on some point that some girl did yoga and went all the way of her head, going from there to there to uh, to inside of herself, and then grab it to it and then throw it out. But I'm like, okay. And then you see this beautiful nature that throwing up. I like the peaceful 
that are the ass because I feel like this killer feels also a lot of peace in himself feels peaceful but wants that back feels the I feel like it's not so stressful as your ma most horror movies got because you you have to like okay this pace this pace because everything in your head is happening she's stressing out of her she's running for her life she's uh, you know that you have to go from one scene to the other because it's a fast break because, because the head in the head space that uh, the survivors are are stressed about it they, they shall so time goes so fast sometimes when you're you're stressed uh, you're running, you're you're overthinking stuff. Your your mind is racing and racing and racing, overthinking every second, every time. It's like is he there? Is there? Is there? We don't know. It's like you get this, but for the killer, it's very peaceful because it's a killer. It has already planned this. It has already is trying to have, has a, a goal in mind and knows that not uh, it cannot be killed. So it's very like. I like the way they did it from the point of view of the killer. Uh, I feel like it's it's a very underrated movie, but it's also not gory as some outlets want to believe. Uh, it's from the killer's point of view, and I think they did a good job about getting a point of view of how the killer works. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Twisted Goblin, and this was my video. Everything I liked about the in the violent nature it's a good one of a kind movie and i like to stay one of a kind anyway thank you guys so much for watching goodbye then the days got worse and worse and now you see i've gone completely out of my mind